Hello, a warm welcome to the western part of Germany. We find ourselves in the city of Leverkusen. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Bayer Leverkusen up against Bochum. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And a look at the 11 for Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Jonathan Tarr plays alongside Edmond Tapsoba in central defence. Moussa Diaby plays with Callum Hudson Odoi out wide. And the striker is the very gifted Patrick Schick. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And now they get the ball rolling. Mummy's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. First up. Good movement. And players. Can he take advantage? They had to react and did. about the short corner well he made sure there was absolutely no way through and unable to keep possession Schick Backer has it moving into the advanced position Hudson O'Doy Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. First up. Great opportunity. Oh, there it is. A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted merely minutes. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. So back underway, one goal apiece here. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. And 
not a great challenge. Free kick here. Well, he needed to read it to get there, and did. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. All hands on deck. But quick thinking defensively. Backer. Kerem Demirbay. And giving it away. Antwi Ajay. Furster. Well, possibilities in the centre. Can he do it? He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. So there we have it, 2-1. Anthony Garcia. A glorious chance. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. <laughs> Delivering it. Well, clattered away. It did look on for them, but not to be. Running with the ball confidently. Must be! Terrific piece of anticipation. And the referee says penalty. Is it going to be 3-1? And there it is! Perfectly executed! Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Hudson Odoi. Backer has it. Well, can they prize them open now? And reading it absolutely superbly. Well, the visitors, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yes, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Opportunity here! A goal! That's two for him today! They simply can't stop him! No wonder he's celebrating! Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. 
And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. So there goes the half-time whistle. It is an acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the visitors. They find themselves on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, what a turnaround this has been. We knew their struggles defensively, but their creativity has been excellent today. In particular, the wide players have been a constant threat. That's a really... Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Sheik. Nicely timed tackle. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Damia Bay. Diaby. We're showing good defensive judgment. Sola. Sheik. Very quick thinking there. Hudson Odoi. They've regained possession. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And they have possession again. Well, cleared away, but at the expense of a corner. Time for a change then. Now the delivery. Now, who can he play it to? Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Hudson Odoi. Here's Patrick Sheik. Hudson Odoi. The supporters want to see him have a go. It's gone in! Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And into the last 20 minutes. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Corner coming up. So making the substitution now. And deciding to go short with this one. Chance to finish! A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Oh, 
Plojek. It's Callum Hudson Odoi. Determined defending. Lucia. Sola. Now can they counter clinically? And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Now options are plenty. Danilo. Now what can they produce on the flank? But a crucial intervention inside the box. Schick. First up. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. So a personnel change then. He'll have a go here. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, all the focus at the start of the game was on them being the worst defence in the league. But their ability up front today certainly took our minds off that. I thought they were positive, they were bright, and they were willing to take chances on the ball. It's a good three points well earned. 